We'll stretch them out before we get into the foot fitness with the legs elevated above our head. How many of you have heard of yoga toes? Yoga toes, I don't even know if it's, I think it's yogatoes.com. Anyway, yoga toes are kind of like at the pedicure when they put a little thing in between all your toes to stretch them out. We all wear pointy shoes. You add things like bunions where the, the this is the bunion foot, where the toe starts to go in and you get that joint issue on here. You can stretch manually. I'm just going to show you some stretches to do. Yoga toes you can wear to bed at night. You can wear them while you walk around. But it helps to get the alignment because what you want is alignment of the joints and everything between your toes. I usually, if you just grab the little toe and the big toe, this is going to feel so good after what we did with our body weight, is you're going to pull apart, okay, as you stretch. And I usually go rub down, you know, to residual as you're trying to rub down on each one. Go to the center next two, pull apart. And I'll rub down on those two, and then I'll go for the middle and the big toe. Middle and the big toe. So just increasing on blood flow. And now the joint is where I press in at the same time I'm squeezing. Let's see if I can show on this. Area. Is that my thumb is over the ball joint, which helps me push in on the ball joint, and I pull that other toe, the big toe out. Okay, so thumb over the ball joint as I pull. So I'm supporting that ball joint as I pull out. Now you can see optimal alignment without it starting to angle in. So I'll have that to where now, you know, when we do the pull back on your toes and point, like when we're doing like and hit the floor, push and pull, we were doing it this morning during the stretches, is that as you pull back your toes, support that joint to go in. Are you following what I mean? So I can do it on the outside and pull back the toes. Can you see that? As you pull in, can you see the toes? As I press, I'm going to pull in and press in on this ball joint as I pull the toes back. And I do this a lot of times in the tub. When we get T-tap in the tub filmed, because you have, <laughs> yes, yes, that'll be fun. My, my honey says if we have lots of bubbles and strategically cover, it would really be a bestseller. <laughs> okay, so see how my toes, does he have that on the camera? Because I can't see now. As you push in on the ball joint on the outside, see how my toes are slightly separated like yoga toes and I pull them back as I push in. Two, three, four. Then I come over, just like in the finger fitness, grab at the base of my toes, pushing in on that ball joint, and I pull stretch. So I'm trying to get optimal alignment of that big toe as I pull over. Two, three, four. Pull back, two, press in on that ball joint. Three, four with your thumb, stretch over. Okay, everybody following me on that? Let's do the other foot before we stretch in on the other. Because too many times you just see people curl over, pull back, curl over, pull back. It's like you're, you're stretching out of alignment. And this ball joint is, is like, on this one especially, because it's almost like I have the growth coming. This will look better by the end of, of foot fitness. Okay, so as you first pull apart, and they are, so now you're spreading there. Well, you're pushing in on that ball joint as you pull back. So you pull back on your toes as you push in on that ball joint. Ah, oh, man, does that, and when you have, anybody else who has, let, let's, let me see a series of hands. How many people have bunions here? Okay, how many people have plantar fasciitis? How many people um, have uh, uh, any other foot issues? I can't even think. Flat feet, it's like plantar fasciitis. Flat feet? Oh, hammer toes. That was the one. How many people have hammer toes? I knew there was another one. Right. Okay. I'll get into those when we're standing up. I'm sorry. So as you're pushing in and you push back on, and that's real important on the hammer toes, is that you push the back of the toes instead of pulling the whole thing, is push behind as you push in on the, ham, on the ball joint. So pushing on the ball joint, stretch back. But when you have a bunion that kind of hurts a little bit, you just to squeeze in really hard on the ball joint to pull the toe out. It's not going to hurt anything, but as you stretch back, that's what puts it in. Pull over, two, three, four, pull it back, two, three, four, pull it over, and you keep pushing on that ball joint. That's real important. So I'm squeezing almost like all of those together. Pull it back, two, three, four. Now both at the same time, just like what we did on you know the push and pulls, so make sure your heels are in alignment with your hips, okay? Put your thumb between your big toe 
As it's out, you're going to pull the other ones. Reach over the toes. Get your thumb between the big toe and the second toe. Everybody following along? So it's not just the first joint. I'm all the way within there so that I'm pushing the big toe out. Got it? And I'm pushing my thumbs out to keep them in alignment so that I can get underneath those other toes as I push, pull. Feel that stretch? Two, three, four. Now you curl in. Thumbs on the ball joint so your first finger can push out the big toe. Your other fingers are going to curl over the toes so that you're going to curl. I know, it's kind of crazy to demonstrate all this. This is why we do it when we're in little clinics. So you'll have the DVD to look at. So push out and scrunch in. So you push on the ball joint. The other toes are all curled right in. And you're, and you're pushing out to three. This feels so good for me. And then you pull back, push out that big toe. As you pull back the other toes, you're keeping your big toe out. You're keeping that big toe out. We'll get an overhead camera when I shoot the rest of this in my house. Okay, so from here, now that we've warmed up our toes, we're going to go on our backs. Okay, we're going to get in front of the 